Hello guys, welcome to Ambush Technologies. In this video, I am going to talk about the face recognition system, automatic door lock system. So the main aim of this project is uh, to improvise the security of uh, door lock a little bit uh, by uh, recognition of the face. And uh, if an unauthorized person uh, is going uh, is going trying to access the door lock system, it will be uh, locked. Uh, it will be remained as locked. So coming to the components we are using a raspberry pi 3 model b and we are using a dc motor which is connected to the raspberry pi through l293d motor driver and the regulated power supply for powering up all the components here and uh, the lcd display to display whether uh, uh, an authorized person came or an unauthorized person came so now that we have uh, seen the components uh, let's see it's working so the coding that we are uh, writing is uh, written in the python language so initially we are uh, setting up the gpio pins of uh, raspberry pi as a uh, broadcom mode and uh, we are setting all the warnings as false so the next thing is uh, we are also setting up an email address to send the images of uh, this webcam so that uh, the owner knows uh, who came to the house and uh, uh, whether it is an authorized person or uh, unauthorized one so the next thing that we are doing is uh, we are saving these images in a particular file location so if the image that has been uh, detected is an authorized person's one it is going to be saved in uh, examples folder as image.jpg and uh, if not uh, it's an unauthorized person then it is going to be saved as unknown image uh, in the same folder only so the next thing that we are going to see is that uh, we have uh, three registered faces here so we are uh, we have saved uh, each face as uh, under each name so that uh, we can know who is the exact who exactly is this authorized person so while executing this program if uh, the code uh, if the face that has been uh, shown in this video is uh, true uh, i mean if it is an authorized person then it is going to be uh, uh, shown that the face has been matched and uh, similarly on the lcd as well uh, we can see that the lcd uh, the face has been matched and automatically the motors are going to turn on in which uh, our case it is uh, the door lock system so if it is false then the uh, uh, buzzer is going to be high and uh, the motor driver the motor driver which is uh, connected to the dc motor will be turned off only so that's how we know that uh, it is an unauthorized person so first of all let me show you how the images uh, have been uh, captured and uh, saved in the folder so for that i'm going to open the terminal and uh, I'm going to run this uh, specific code called uh, sudo sudo fs dot webcam. So I'm going to do that again. One second. Let's say uh, I've taken a bottle. So I'm going to take a bottle for this example, and I'm going to take a picture of it. So it will be saved in uh, examples folder as uh, image one dot jpg. So let's go there and uh, see the image. So as you can see it is the image of a bottle. Uh, that's how the image has been saved and uh, whatever the image that has been captured will be compared with the ones in the video and uh, uh, we can see that uh, it is uh, authorized person or not. Uh, this can be done by using OpenCV software. Uh, so that it can compare the uh, one image with others uh, so that's the working uh, I'm going to show its implementation so initially I'm going to run this program and it will take some time to load the software So it is initially showing the message called door lock system and uh, the image has been taken and it is going to be compared with the ones in the video. 
so if the image is uh, uh, authorized persons one then uh, the motor is going to turn on for two seconds which we are going to see in a little bit so the face has been matched and the motor turned on for uh, two seconds and it stopped again and then the mail has been sent here so again immediately the video pop-up is going to come up and uh, it is going to show that uh, my face is an authorized person one uh, so you can see that uh, my face has been displayed as Swati so I'm going to use uh, some other person's face uh, as a reference of a known person so let's do this So it is showing that the face is not matched and uh, around the face it is going to display that it is unknown and the mail will be sent, uh, uh, the image of uh, the person will be sent through mail. So let us check the email for uh, those photographs. So I am going to stop the program now and uh, let us see the email address. So this is the email address that has been uh, given. So if it is an authorized person, then it is going to show the uh, predefined images that were taken long time ago. But uh, uh, if it is an unauthorized person, it is going to uh, show the image that is uh, captured at the moment. So as you can see, uh, the images that are, uh, if you give me one second. So these are the images that are taken and uh, this was uh, taken one uh, like uh, less than one minute ago and you can see the current image and uh, I have moved the box a little too fast so that's why you can see that uh, this image has uh, you can see my image instead of this person's image. So that's how it works. So thank you for watching this video for more videos like this. Please subscribe to Ambest Technologies. Thank you very much.